know you lying. It's a press up. It's a it's a click. That whole time. So you can click and you can use your remote. Mm. What's a ting? bet y'all thought that um, this was going to start really pretty and aesthetically appeasing. No. That's not real life. <laughs> this kitchen island is a mess. This is a kitchen counter and it looks like a pharmacy. The fruit bowl. That's a place back in St. Thomas. <laughs> um, like I sell vases. Where are the flowers? Why do I have a vase with water? Where are the flowers? This makes no sense, y'all. You know I was gonna have some Clorox wipes and Lysol nearby. Placemats. Okay, let's just go ahead and get started because this is just not cute. And y'all, that's flour and sugar. I rest my case. Don't ask. Let's go. Okay, so first up for our kitchen decor, I've always wanted to have kitchen lighting under the cabinets, every apartment. And I just never, back in the day, I never even knew that you could get that stuff, you know, or achieve that look without wiring. But the hockey puck lights, the LED lights that are battery operated, no, let me go back. Remember the um, prep, the press on, the press it, click it, what do they call? Clap on, clap on, clapper. You remember those lights you clap and they would turn on when you clap? I know I'm not crazy. I would see the commercials during Price is Right. When Price is Right was on and Young and the Restless on CBS, the clap on, clapper lights. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, needless to say, <laughs> They have them now where you just put a battery in and it has a remote and you can change the lighting and the ambiance. Yes, with the remote. So I'm going to, I thought it was gonna be a whole lot of installation, but it does not appear to be. They come already put together. I just have to, I guess, put the adhesive on here, but we're gonna decide what cabinet and what location throughout the kitchen will these be um, placed. So, I'm excited that I don't have to put them together. That saves time. And I really feel like I need to install these onto the cabinets, then decorate the counter. You know, it doesn't make sense to put stuff on the counter and then I gotta turn around and push stuff out of the way to install the light. So let's go ahead and figure out where we're going to put each of the lights, it's uh, how many? Six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Because the stove range has its own lighting, you know, I don't need to install one like right here in this vicinity, in this area. But underneath each of the cabinets, we're gonna decide where we want to place each of the pucks. I think I have enough space for six, but because of the range, I might only need to use five. All right, let's figure this out. So I know I definitely want to have one here because this is just like a slim counter area, a little sliver of quartz countertop. And if I'm cutting anything, I typically would have a cutting board here. It would be nice to have one right there. So we're going to do one there. All right. We're not going to have one underneath the microwave. I'm thinking right here. So my knife set is here. If I'm cutting on this side of the stove, it would be nice to have one here. And this is actually a, a longer panel than the other one we just looked at. So maybe we could do two. Maybe we could do one here and one there. Yeah. So if you look at the doors, we'll have one underneath there one underneath there. So that covers this entire um, counter space, right? 
Okay, now when I look at this cabinet, this is actually one, two, and then the sink is right here. Having one over the sink will be cool. So what do y'all think? What I do, yeah, this is a long space. So let's do two. So we'll do one here, one here. Why am I pounding the, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, one, two, three. I need to spread it out. I'm acting like I got 10. I only have six. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Let's back up, let's back up. Okay, okay, so I got the coffee station over there. So we definitely want over the coffee station. That's one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm tripping, y'all. If you look at where each of the cabinet pairs meet with the handles, put a light where the double handles are. So, yeah. So there'd be one here. You know I had to tap. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it over the coffee station and will cover all this counter area here. Double handles here will be over the sink. And then double handles here. Um, my pastry board, um, I use the pastry board for baking, but it's also you can use it for a large cutting board. This is that L-shaped area that has the most counter space. So having one here is definitely essential. So that's three, four, five so that was where I got the five out of six would be you so where will we put the sixth one hmm. um, what do y'all think do y'all think we should do two here maybe I should do two here because oh oh maybe I could do this maybe I could put one in here Right? To kind of shine down on my books like stacked up. What do y'all think about that? Maybe doing one right in there or is that tacky? To put one right there. What do y'all think? I don't know. By the time y'all see this, I would have decided. I need to go live when I'm trying to get y'all's opinions. That's the best way, right? That's my washer and dryer in the background. Or my dryer. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the kitchen. So y'all, when I look at the kitchen cabinets, I feel like this cabinet, yeah. This cabinet is not as wide or as long, if you're thinking about the counter, as this cabinet. So let me back up. Y'all see that? Y'all see it? That this is wider then this one, oh yeah, you could definitely tell. So I think we need to do two lights underneath that one. One over the sink, and then one over the coffee count, the coffee machine. I think that's it. Yep. And then we'll do one here. We have the stove light, so we only need one here stove light and then one in the corner all right let's get this party started light it up So it says batteries are inside the puck lights. Remove the plastic. We did that. Yeah. Remove the plastic battery insulation tab prior to use. Oh no, we did not do that. Reading is fundamental. How am I a lawyer, but I don't read directions thoroughly. So I annoy myself. Okay. Um, so yeah, inside there's usually a tab that, you know, prevents the battery from, you know, burning out. So you gotta like pull that slip up. So we'll do that when we get there. Just wanna make sure I get all the directions out and that I know what I'm doing and that I'm reading. Okay. Mm-mm. I know you lying. They expect me to read this? Remove plastic insulation tab prior to use. Operate the puck lights up to 15 feet away from the remote. <laughs> I 
I'm reading the same sentence over and over again because this is so small. Model B R R C 15 2 1R does not include a remote. Okay, I didn't get that uh, model. Button power buttons red. I'm I'm not reading all of this. Where are the directions? Compartment count. I can't see. Let me go get my glasses. Turn battery compartment cover counterclockwise lift compartment cover insert three new okay so that's a few so the batteries are already in there so there's really no directions I like this y'all see how I just flipped that I was confused and now I'm loving it remote mm hmm okay y'all see what they're talking about this oh okay right here so this kind of like light emoji icon that needs to be when you mount it that needs to be outward facing the remote because that's where the remote will pick up or connect or talk to the puck okay all right so the thing is like the the neat freak in me wants these to not be like one up and then the one over there is like far back so i want to kind of get an idea of how far from the front of the cabinet do i want it because i don't want it to be a whole bunch of you know should I put it close to the, to the uh, backsplash, you think? So it can kind of shine onto the backsplash and the counter. Do we want it in the middle? Do we, I mean, y'all probably don't care. Y'all just want to see me install the lights and keep it moving, right? Okay, let me do that. It'd be nice to kind of look down there and say, hey y'all, what we doing? Are we gonna be far back? Are we gonna be close to the front? What are we doing? So I'm gonna try to put this one up and then look down there and make sure the one yonder is not too close to the front, but not too far back. I want them to kind of be like in, you know, in the same linear flow. I don't know, it's late, I'm tired. But y'all get what I'm saying. Okay, let's, let's get this stuff. Ensure mountain area is clean. Attach adhesive tape to area number eight. What? Where's number eight? What, I don't see no, I don't see any numbers on here. Do y'all see, do y'all see a number eight? Made in China, hmm. patent pending, I bet. Where is eight? Okay, I don't know what y'all talk. Oh, read, look, it is the center. So they don't want you to put it anywhere else but the center. But it'd be nice if they could have put like an engraved eight there. Cause nobody, I mean, who can see this? Can y'all see this? I used to brag about eating carrots all the time. Now it's like, what carrots? What carrots? Okay, I'm about tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all. Y'all, y'all are just stressing me out. We're gonna, we're gonna freelance this. Okay, so these are the adhesive um, uh, circle tape thingies, and we're gonna put them on the back of the puck. But I'm gonna do it one at a time. I'm not gonna open all of them and put them all on. I'm just gonna do one at a time to kind of get my flow. So it also comes with screws for you homeowners. If you want to screw the pucks to your cabinets, I think even with the home, I would use the adhesive tape just to kind of preserve the cabinet. Um, but you know, if you lock in in a mansion and you know you're gonna be there for a long time, then why not? Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get puck one up on the cabinet. I'm nervous, I don't know. Okay, we wanna make sure that, where is it? That this right here, that symbol, that they said right there, like a Wi-Fi looking symbol, that that is facing outward. I'm so nervous! All right, here it goes. It doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't matter. 
you know, 3M is no joke. So, it should do the job. I'm loving the way it looks already. That's actually a good placement. I like that because I kind of like it being further back and not too far to the front, you know? That way it'll shine off the backsplash. Gotta love home improvement. Okay, let's just do a couple more presses. Okay. I'm not gonna turn it on. I wanna turn it on, y'all, but you know, we can't be, we can't be like, you know, kids on Christmas Eve. You can go to bed, go to bed and wake up and open your presents tomorrow. Stop trying to shortcut, no. We're gonna put up all the lights and then we're gonna test the lights out with the remote. All right, on to the second one, let's go. Okay, so what, what did we say we were gonna do over here? I forgot that quickly. We had said two. Did we say two or one? I'm confused. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We said we're gonna do two here because this is the widest cabinet. Actually, I think this cabinet and this cabinet, these are the two widest. So maybe we could just do, we can't because we have that opening right there, but let's just, let's just do one here. Call it a day, right? Because it's so close to the stove, so we should be all right. Um, I don't want it to be too far to the back, but also that's kind of in line with the center. Okay, all right. I'm getting excited, y'all. This is so exciting. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just do one for now. 3M. Put it on area eight. The center. Secure that. Oh my gosh, too excited. I hope y'all can hear me over my um, dryer. I'm gonna turn it off in a minute. Okay, and now we are going to make sure that the remote symbol, let's just call it the remote, symbol, remote technology symbol is showing and this is the center i'm going to line it up with the center of the cabinet so the two doors meet and not too far back oh, i'm nervous just put the thing up girl <laughs> it actually is further ahead but that's okay it's more i don't know it's further out than the other one but it'll do oh no you didn't take the, the little slip out the Silly me. Reading is fundamental. This little slip right here has to come out. Oh. Well, there y'all have it. That is what happens when you don't read directions or when you read directions and then refuse to follow them even though the directions told you what to do. Reading is fundamental and when you read the directions, do what they tell you to do. But don't freak out because it's not as bad as it seems. It'll come right off. Duh, so you can change the batteries. <sighs> I swear, I do have common sense. I promise I do. <gasps> no, y'all not supposed to see the light on yet. I know you lying. It's a press up, it's a, it's a click. That whole time. So you can click and you can use your remote. Mm. Wow, this whole time it was a press and a click. I thought it was only remote control. I didn't even feel like it had that kind of traction. What a ting. Wow. I'm gonna love y'all. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs>
Okay, so we got them all up. We got one, two, three. These are a little bit closer because this cabinet is longer than all the others. Four, five. Sorry for the fuzziness, y'all. Six. Six. <laughs> okay, so I'll just turn one on. This is what it's giving. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more yellow, like a yellow ambient type of light, like the stove. You see how the stove gives it more of a yellow, and this is more of a, I don't know how to explain. This is more warm kind of, you know, yellow hue, and then this is like a pure white, I don't know. Y'all get what I'm saying? Look at the color of the tiles. You see how that's like white, and then right here it gets warm, you see that? I like the warm light. It just feels more like a chef's kitchen. <laughs> oh, all right, let's move on. All right, so time to decorate the counters. I actually feel like I'm going to decorate the counters now but I want to show y'all the reveal in the daytime. Because if I get in a relationship and I end up with somebody who is desirable to me, I'm going to drag you the same damn way. All right, y'all. I'm finished decorating the counters. I don't want to show the final reveal. I am going to turn all the lights off and test a few of the light. I really want to show y'all the final reveal, but we're going to save that for the daytime because that is when, you know, sunlight really does a better job. Um, so yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what the kitchen looks like <laughs> Let me test a few lights. Hold on Ooh. Okay, are you ready? Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Get a little soap brush and soap bottle action. 